to that corner. Okay. 
I'm just showing you what I look This is what we have. line between those two cones. So we've got all the lines popped. We can put the wall mold up. Um, so that's what we're going to see us do next. And we'll, uh, this is a drywall here with wood framing. With this over here, it's concrete. Now we do have some wood around the opening of this uh, window, so we can fasten to that. But uh, we're going to have to get uh, Tapcon or concrete screws and drill some holes to hold it where we want to where we want to hold it. Uh, the rest of it we can fasten the screws, and and then when it comes to uh, doing this professionally, they a lot of them use uh, staples to put that up. That's an art in itself. Uh, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a way, way to go really fast. Um, there's a lot of things that they do that are very, very different than what you can do. Plus, they walk on stilts a lot of times. <laughs> I have stilts. I don't want to fall. Uh, and I can walk stilts. But also know that I, you know, there's nobody who walks up to have them got broken bones that I know of. And I know a lot. So we'll just go around fastening and we'll uh, bring you back when we get all the wall mold fastened. Uh, probably bring you in a couple places where we do the corners. Uh, how I do that. And then we'll see what we can see. Okay, so we fastened all the wall mold L angle on the uh, walls except for around these columns. And what I'm doing is I'm going against the wall over here about an inch and an eighth past, put it up here and then I'm marking it back a little bit on this side. Then I take that mark and I cut down here to that mark 
like that. Then I get my screw gun, some screw, inch of screws. Cut an inch and eighth past. We're going to mark it back here. Leave the bottom. Cut that. Cut to the corner. 